What time is it? It's science time! Now a barometer is a tool that a meteorologist, a person who studies the weather, uses to determine atmospheric pressure. We're going to take our cup and then we're going to take a balloon and we're going to cut the balloon off right above the neck. And the hope is that when we stretch it over here, we get a tight fit. So now that we have the balloon wrapped over the top of the barometer, what we're going to do is we're going to place a straw on it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tape it right there on the center of my drum head or my barometer. Nice little piece of tape. Okay, that'll work. Inside of this cup, it's not empty, it's actually filled with air. Air. When the weather changes, air can increase in pressure or it can decrease in pressure. And when it increases in pressure, it's pushing down more. So when it pushes down, it's gonna push down on this rubber membrane. And when it does that, our little uh, indicator here is going to go up. And when the pressure outside of the can goes down or it's lower, what happens is the air on the inside wants to push up and out and it'll cause this membrane to lift, which will cause this to go down. Now it's going to be hard to keep track and read our barometer the way it is now. So I thought it'd be cool to build a little setup so that you can actually measure it over time, like over a week or over two weeks. So we're gonna take a piece of, I have some foam core that I had left over you could use a piece of cardboard. We're gonna put that right here on the edge and I'm gonna use, whoops, I'm gonna use a piece of tape. Just wrap it inside out and I'm gonna put it right here. Now you can use some hot glue if you want and glue that down so it doesn't move. But once it's set, you know, that's our starting point. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a little backing here just like this. All right, so in theory, look at that. And now it's leaning back. I'm gonna put it one more piece of tape. I'm gonna turn it around to show you what I've done. Look at this. So it's leaning back perfectly, just like this. I'm gonna take a little piece of tape here. Ah! I'm gonna put that there first. I'm gonna put another piece here. And then I'm gonna lift this up. And I'm gonna wrap it around the bottom so that it stays nice and sturdy. Look at this, it's a weather station, oh yeah. Okay, so now what I have to do is I basically have to start at my starting point and the pressure right now is what it is in my house outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take a little line right here and I'll make a little dot right there. That's going to be my starting point and I'm just going to mark it just like that so that's, that's what we would consider our start, our normal. Now, if the pressure goes up, this is gonna rise, right? So I'm gonna mark a couple of things right here. I'm gonna make this middle one the longest one so that we know that's our starting point. And now I'm going to have a few lower. Typically, when things are high pressure, they're sunny. And typically, when it's low pressure, it's cloudy and the weather is not so good. All right, so now what we do is we put it in a place in our house and we observe it. Observe, observe. Ugh, that didn't come out right. We observe each and every day. And then we compare it to our local weather report. High pressure, low pressure, and then you can mark it. You can actually add numbers to these as well so you know exactly where it landed to see the difference in pressure readings in your neighborhood, in your area where you live. So this is a super simple way to build a barometer. No pressure, it's not that hard. Thanks for being part of our crew today and checking out this short clip from DIY Science Time. If you like this clip and you want to see more exciting science, check out the full versions right here on the channel. 
Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting DIY science time.